it is to be the edition of Prime Plus coming to you live from the studios of my media Prime Television here in Cameroon's economic capital with me von Quinta. He began the news in the northwest region of the country where sources in Card Village, a community that shares boundary with Ndu subdivision and Wadunga Mantun Division Northwest region say about twenty two houses have been burned by men in military attire. Reports say the men in military attire invaded the village in search of separatist fighters whom they believe reside in that community. Residents say all they ever labored for, including foodstuffs stored in bands, was uh, reduced to ashes. Over in the West Region, 30-year-old Alain Fosso, the man who allegedly beat his wife to death in Banjun, has so surrendered to police. Alain Fosso was accused of beating his 28-year-old wife, wife and mother of four children, that's 10, 7, 5, and 1 year, respectively, who died at the Aluche Medical Facility from head trauma and internal bleeding. Reports say the accused beat his wife, suspecting her of committing extramarital affairs. After carrying out the act earlier this week, Alain Fosso reportedly escaped. Now, the former director general of CRTV, Professor Jeve Mendoza, begins his journey to eternity today, April 23. Members of government and other dignitaries took part in the covenant ceremony at the Yawunde Central Hospital. Professor Jeve Mendoza died on April 9, 2021, and will be buried tomorrow in Sangmelima, south region of Cameroon. Now the minister delegate at the presidency in charge of defense, Joseph Betty Asomo, is currently in charge representing President Paul Bia at the official funeral ceremony of late Chadian President Idris Deby Idno. The funeral ceremony of late Chadian President and Field Marshal Idris Deby, who died on Tuesday from injuries sustained at the battlefront, will take place in Jamena today. Chad is currently observing a 14th uh, National Morning Day in honor of its late president. Now, celebrations marking the 135th International Labor Day have been cancelled in Cameroon for the second consecutive year due to coronavirus. In a release issued Thursday, April 22, the Labor Social Security Group Gua Obuna informed actors in the labor sector that the traditional parade that usually marks the day will not take place. He called on them to organize sensitization campaigns and exchange activities on this year's theme in strict compliance with anti-COVID-19 barrier measures outlined by government. Over in Chad, a funeral ceremony for late President Idris Deby Idno is being held in the capital Jamena with thousands of people paying their last respect to the leader who was killed while leading his troops against a rebel offensive on Monday. French President Emmanuel Macron, Guinean President Alpha Conde, and several other African leaders answered present at the ceremony despite rebel warning they should not attend for security reasons. Idris Deby 68, ruled Chad for more than 30 years and was one of Africa's longest serving political leaders despite uh, rebellions. Now, a new malaria vaccine developed by researchers at the Oxford University and scientists from uh, Burkina Faso has proven 77% effective against the disease in early trials, a figure far higher than any existing treatment. More than 4,800 children below three years will be recruited in the next trial to take place in Burkina Faso, Mali, Kenya, and Tanzania. Malaria kills more than 400,000 people a year, many of them children in sub-Saharan Africa. And the European Union has warned that it will consider sanctioning individuals who attempt to undermine South Sudan's peace agreement. EU Commissioner for Crisis Management, Jonas Lenakik, met President Sava Ki and the first Vice President, Riek Macho, and urged them to accelerate the implementation of the agreement in order to end violence and avert 
for mine-like conditions in the country. The European Union had previously adopted the sanctions the United Nations Security Council introduced against several individuals who is set on the mind to the peace process in South Sudan. This ends the afternoon edition of Prime Flash on my media, Prime Television. Developments of these stories and more will be yours at exactly 6.30 p.m. with uh, Audrey Zadza. Keep watching programs on my media, Prime Television. Goodbye.